Good morning, my dear children. This time, the good morning was really long. By this, I remember that we have done long and short vowel sounds. Remember? Now, here, what we have to do, we have to read these sentences and we have to think that from the sentence, which word has a long vowel sound and which word has a short vowel sound? You want to see how? Let us see. Let's read the first one. I can cl. Now this is, remember, two vowels are walking. First one does the talking and second one, shh. So this is cl. And with the name sound, e, n, clean, the, p, a, n, pan. Now in this sentence, I can clean the pan. Can you find a long wall sound word and a short wall sound word? You're right. K and can. And p and a pan are short vowel sound words. So can and pan you're going to write in this box. And this word clean, cl e n clean is a long vowel sound word, and you are going to write it here in this bubble. Got it? Got the game? Let's try one more. I have pain. Remember, two words walking. First one does the talking and second one shh. And the first one with the name sound. So, p a n pain in my n e. Both the brothers coming together. K n e k neck. Yes. So, I have pain in my neck. Now in this sentence, the word pain has a, you're right, long vowel sound. So you are going to write this word pain in this bubble and this word neck. You're right, that's a short vowel sound. N-e-k, neck. And this neck in the short vowel sound word bubble. All right. Now, what about this? In. Yeah, this is also a short vowel. So you are going to write short vowel in in this bubble here. Got the game? All the best.